Hello, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 24th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun the last 48 hours. Pretty large plasma filament eruption from the northeast region, top right. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Minor M-class solar flare occurred around that region as well. Looking last 48 hours incoming. Looks like no major cresting sunspots coming in. Still watching most of the plasma filaments dance around the surface. But outgoing, this is where all the activity is recently. As we saw an M-class solar flare from the left-hand side. And then the large plasma filament eruption producing a small solar tsunami as it ejected a large blob of plasma. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, still watching solar tornadoes around the equatorial region, left-hand side. And that very complex region behind the sunspots. Two coronal holes. And they're visible here at 193 angstroms. So grateful to be able to witness all of these events on our sun as we've been able to now for the past decade, a little bit longer. Solar X-ray flux remains in C range right now as we had that minor M-class solar flare Geomagnetic activity is low, sitting at KP1. Real-time solar wind, 407 kilometers per second right now, after being up over 500. But nothing major for solar winds. ISWA space prediction spiral still showing yesterday's large CME. That was directed at the Parker Solar Probe and Venus. And then updated today. No new CMEs showing here on the imagery. But just expecting that little space weather event in the next 12 hours as that energy moves closer to Earth. Looking at LASCO 3 showing all the energies taking off from the sun. No new major CMEs since reported yesterday. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 24. Quick look at the telemetry here for your Schumann resonance. Amplitude of 24, quality 8.2, power of 11. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we did have a very large earthquake occur today. Argentina, Campo Gallo, Argentina, 601 kilometer depth, 6.4 magnitude. And this, I had warned yesterday, this was a region. I was expecting a large earthquake, and sure enough, this is the second large earthquake that we've seen there. 6.8 occurring earlier this week. Things quieting down through Puerto Rico. Largest through the region being a 3.8. Across the United States, White City, New Mexico seems to be the hot spot right now. Other than that, not too much to note. And then we're seeing increasing activity here across Hawaii. Alaska, very quiet. Activity coming back to Japan and Kamchatka, 4.4s, as well as 4.6 here. Bonin Island region, Japan. 507 kilometer depth and then we get to Indonesia as we're still seeing tons of earthquakes here 5.8 occurring today with many aftershocks through the reason something is a brewing there wow 4.7 there for Tonga 5.6 here to report Nepal another 5.3 in Malta the Mediterranean as we've seen what, five earthquakes right in that same region at Malta this past week. 
And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Give you a quick look here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. If you are in an earthquake prone zone, please be ready. Have a go bag ready and know your escape routes. Know what to do if a large shaker is affecting you or tsunami is on its way. Increasing activity there up to the Rick Jane's Ridge and quieting down through the Scotia Plate. Stay aware and prepared. Having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Got an extreme weather event that is dropping tornado warnings across Louisiana and Texas. Got Popo in Mexico, Semeru in Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala. 200 active hazards right now with this app. Many of them are floods. Got Sabancaya in Peru. More tornado warnings there. Corpus Christi and Houston. Krakatoa, Indonesia, two days ago, awakened yet again. Era in Japan. And Shevelich in Russia. And of course, Cordon Cal in Chile. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today. Looking here, satellite imagery, that Texas low, and as well a pretty strong low moving through the central Atlantic. Tornado warnings, as I said, and warned for the past couple days right across the Gulf states and northeastward. Some really cold systems coming out of China right now, producing a lot of fog across the West Pacific. And a vigorous system coming out of Japan in the last 24 hours. We still have tropical cyclone Chaniso as it is a downgraded category right now, but set to increase its category and size over the next couple days. That thing's been spinning for the past 12 days now. Let's have a look at the world weather forecast. Overlooking the United States, we've got a low pressure system through central and northeastern plains, the United States, and of course, this large Texas low, which is bringing the extreme weather event and winter storm towards Ontario. Watch for this to quickly track northeastward. A lot of snow through the Great Lakes region and a lot of extreme weather, very windy conditions across northeastern coastal regions, United States, and then up into the Atlantic provinces where it will be a doozy of a storm. Got some more snow moving in and flurries flying up until the next snowstorm coming in for Friday and then another one for Sunday as that prairie low moves into Ontario and another low develops here through the Pacific North Northwest. And then here is Sunday storm Saturday into Sunday for Ontario and watch for some more extreme weather through the Gulf States with that system. Overlooking the West Coast. Next few days are going to be snowy and cold as the polar vortex is dipping down, but then going to dry out. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, extreme weather moving into central Argentina, and then up into Paraguay and Bolivia. Overlooking Africa, and of course, tropical cyclone Chaniso. At it, as it will be raging down the west coast of Madagascar. Over the next four days, finally making it out to the South Indian Ocean. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system still racing through the Mediterranean. And then a tightly whipped northern low heading into parts of Norway, Sweden. 
going to bring an extreme weather event and, of course, some cold, snowy weather. Overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific, no major systems developing here in the long range. And overlooking Australia, down under. Low pressure system centered over Sydney right now. We'll be heading southward. And then we've got two lows moving in from the northwest. That is set to bring some extreme weather across the continent as it heads towards the central regions. And then another low impacting here, southeastern regions of the United of Australia. Quick look here, overlooking the Pacific, long range forecast. Some intense snowy systems heading around and spinning around Kamchatka and over into Alaska. Long range forecast looking at some more moisture for the BC coastline. Quick look at the temperatures here. Minus 37, minus 38 through parts of northern China and Russia. And through the Hudson Bay area. Long range forecast, we are going to see some very cold temperatures across North America. So extreme cold warning is in effect for Canada and the United States. Stay warm, everybody. Quick look here at our polar vortex right now versus the southern hemisphere. This is all brought to you by Null School. Weather maps And then a quick look at what our polar vortex looked like last year at this time. Definitely not as oblonged as it is this year. Heads up, something is strange with our planet. Jet streams have changed. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.